Russia banned me for entry for 50 years. Hey, generous travelers, it's Mike the Canadian. It's been 90 days since war broke out in Ukraine. I thought I'd update you about travel YouTubers like Bald, Harold, and Drew Binsky about what they had to say about Ukraine since then. First off, we have Ukrainian Anton Somewhere, who has six videos about the war and had this to say. This channel used to be a travel channel and you still can find plenty of videos from different countries here. But since the war started in Ukraine, I postponed all my travel videos and I'm trying to show you what's going on here in my country. Therefore, there will be no travel videos until this war is over. His outspokenness has landed him in trouble with the Kremlin. So first is really recent. Uh, two hours ago before this shooting, Russia banned me for entry for 50 years. I'm almost 38 years old, so uh, I will be allowed to go to Russia when I will be 88. At least it's a good motivation to live a long life. He also speaks about how the war is giving him PTSD-like symptoms. And right now I can feel how this PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, is developing in me. I can be easily triggered with just a loud noise of motorbike somewhere in the streets of Kyiv. And I haven't faced like direct heat of missile, I wasn't under shelling, but still I face these problems. Johnny FD is an American who was living in Ukraine, left and returned, and he has posted over 10 videos since the start of the war. He even bought a car in Ukraine. Normally we just kick the tires in the US. Yeah, somebody <laughs> said like, can you please don't kick the tire when we were checking the car, they yeah. like, don't do that here. Like, why? Yeah. Because yeah. it doesn't do anything. I used, I used to put in my, uh, you know, T, you know, like when you put your car at the uh -huh. rope, you like, no tire kickers, please. Oh. Yeah, you have that. Uh, it's, it's, oh, it's a phrase. It's like, it's phrase, yeah. like yeah. no tire kickers, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't don't waste our time if you want it or not. Yeah. I'm definitely not a tire kicker. I'm like, oh, it looks good. Okay, yeah, okay, I'll buy it. <laughs> but just 11 days ago, he had to flee again. The last time I did this route, uh, February 25th, 2022, there were literal people sleeping here, uh, camped out, because the metros here are also bomb shelter. Bad things have uh, changed since then, but it's still not safe. Uh, which is why one of the reasons why I'm leaving for a few weeks. Harold hasn't posted anything on YouTube since his Himalaya series before the war. I'm actually now probably, st I don't know, I'm just guessing, I'm probably now standing on a graveyard because I assume not everyone was found during that earthquake. His last regular Instagram post was from April 25th. But he did post from Ukraine just outside the Kyiv train station. I just want to um, remind you all that this has been, the genocide was announced before it kicked off. Um, those who've been following the uh, profile here have been giving you witness accounts and statements since day one about the massive amount of rapes that are occurring, mass graves, killings, just a pure insanity of uh, Russia's invasion that they are cheering on in stadium events. Uh, up there in Moscow. Drubinsky hasn't posted anything since just after the start of the war. Um, I feel like I need to, to say something about it because... He did post his pre-war Russia videos, which predictably received less views than normal. Siri, how cold is it in Yakutsk? It's negative 33 degrees. <laughs> Minus 33. This is boiling hot water. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> ice crystals. Bald and Bankrupt has posted nothing since leaving Ukraine at the beginning of the war. Well, it's the 25th of February, about 3.30 in the afternoon, and apparently the Russian tanks are going to enter the centre at any moment. Myself and Johnny are going to head down to the railway station and uh, try and get ourselves out of the city. He has taken the time to visit Syria. Well, walking through this hotel overlooking Malula, it just brings home to you the brutality, the horror of the Syrian conflict. Everywhere you look is just bullet wounds, bullet marks. Look, pockmarked walls from shrapnel. Look here, just a, a trolley that has just been torn apart by bullets. Walls missing, rebar twisted, everywhere. More recently, he posted about the fine he received in Kazakhstan for visiting the Buran rocket. Surprisingly, travel YouTubers like Karen Nate, 
Living Bobby, and others haven't posted anything regarding the war.